How to Learn from Failure Living in the 21st century could not be any more satisfying for the vast majority of us. The world is slowly opening up and becoming more liberal as people around the world get to live their dreams. In fact, it has become the norm in the world we live in now to be surrounded by celebrities and success stories of people promising you that as long as you chase your dreams, you will achieve them. The guarantee that you will eventually succeed is masked by what really goes on during your journey to success. What they don't tell you, however, is that failure is bound to occur on your journey and it will absolutely crush you in the process. The only reason why you see successful people as they are is because of their ability to learn from their failures. So the next time you complain about your failed business venture, think about the lessons you can learn from it instead. For the longest time, studies have been conducted on the benefits of failing and their impact on the learning process of the brain. It has been shown that failure increases the adaptation to changing environmental conditions and systematic resilience when confronting unknown future changes. The stigma arising from the fear of failure could be said to have stemmed from organizations seemingly perfecting their crafts and learning from their failures. Yet, in doing so, they inadvertently shy away from the very thing that built them up, failure. Organizations and people at that worry about preventing failures that may come about from their perfected art, so much so that they fail to see how afraid they've become at the prospect of failing. To put this into perspective, we have to remember that regardless of the endeavors that we perform, success and failure may be 50% each, but the learning process is a 100%. Failure is instructive because it points us to areas of weakness and regions that we can improve on. Of course, it is easy to say that we should learn from our failures, but in actual fact, circumstances may make learning from our failures a rather challenging task for some of us. This becomes especially so when our emotions come into play and we can't get over ourselves. Our egos become hurt in the process, leading to a downward spiral into self-pity and destruction. Let's take a look at some examples of successful people learning from their failures. It's easy to overlook the trials and tribulation that one has overcome before attaining their success, which is why no one really understood how hard J.K. Rowling had to work before she became a billionaire. For Rowling, her failure came in the form of having to deal with the numerous setbacks she had while struggling to complete the first book of Harry Potter. She had to deal with the death of her mother, a failed marriage with a baby daughter to feed, depression, and uncountable rejections by publishers, all while living on welfare support. Even after she managed to secure the publishing of her first book, her future as a writer was never secured. The exact words from her publisher was that she should get a day job because writing children's books won't make any money. That never stopped rolling, however, as she dealt with her misery by pouring her time and energy into writing eventually churning out one of the greatest series of children books ever written. Christopher Reeve had everything he wanted in life. He had a successful career, a beautiful wife, and was even widely acclaimed for his portrayal of Superman. But all that was robbed from him when he became a quadriplegic after being thrown off his horse during a routine jump. Reeve was so overwhelmed by the reality that he would never walk again, much less stand on his feet, that he considered euthanasia. However, once he got over the fact that he would never end his life voluntarily again, he still needed time every morning to acknowledge the loss he suffered. He would take 20 minutes every morning just to cry and accept the harsh reality of his situation before straightening up and moving forward with his day. Now, you may think to yourself that these people eventually got successful or were already successful before they were hit with particular setbacks, and you, on the other hand, are nowhere in life. So what's the point of learning? Well, 
The point is that if you never learn from your mistakes, then whatever business you venture in does not matter because you're bound to encounter the reason for the same failure again. But this time, they will be mistakes that should have been rectified long before. So how do you effectively learn from your failures? Failure without a doubt can mean very different things to different people. They are ultimately standards set up by ourselves either subconsciously or consciously as a judge of our abilities. Of course, if we were to take a more acute look at our doings, we realize that learning should be done regardless of whether we fail or succeed. The only difference with learning from our failures are that the errors we have committed are blatantly staring at us in the face, ready for rectification. Here are some of the tips which I've found particularly useful in learning from my failures. 1. Always plan beforehand. First and foremost, the prerequisite to failing, I believe, is setting up goals. If this doesn't apply to you, you could skip to the second tip. But before I realized I wasn't getting anywhere in life due to my failures, I had to understand that it was because I wasn't setting up goals for myself to track my progress. To truly understand where and how you failed at, you would require initial planning and a strategy as a means to your end. How else would you know if you've otherwise failed? 2. Reevaluate your plan. When you've realized that you failed, take some time to reevaluate your plans. Finding out the problems arising from your mistakes may seem elusive, especially if you're unable to pinpoint the root cause of your problems. For example, you may wish to hit a certain strength level in the gym by the end of the month. Yet, at the end of the month, you realize you are far from achieving your goals. The problem may not lie directly with your workout routine, but rather your nutrition and inadequate sleep which you may not have taken into account of at first glance. 3. Take into consideration the minor details. By minor, I mean the little details that you may have ignored that may not seem like much on paper value, but is effectively affecting the results of your goals. This may come in the form of your motivation levels when you're performing the particular activity, or perhaps your slip in work ethics and mindset during your progress. These minor details add up over the long run and can be hazardous to your progress. 4. Put aside your emotions. The one thing that everyone will feel when they've encountered failure is the feeling of worthlessness and despair. But the difference between people who learn from their mistakes and those who don't is how fast they can get over themselves and start looking at their failure objectively. Learn to put aside your emotions when you've just encountered failure. I personally allow myself a fixed time to grieve or be overwhelmed with whatever feelings that I may have. But once that time is up, I separate myself from my emotions through meditation and reflect objectively over the event. The beginning of your journey to success lies with how fast you accept the fact that you are bound to fail. Not once, but countless of times throughout your life. We should never be afraid of failing because it is only through failure that we learn from our mistakes and emerge a stronger, far better version of ourselves. Strive for success, but pray for failure, for these two don't fall very far apart from each other. If you have any questions about areas of life where you're struggling or want to make improvements, please tell me in the comments below or write to me at Facebook or Twitter and I'll make a video about how best to approach it.